Welcome to the Wellness Connection with Dr. McMinn. Dr. McMinn is Birmingham's wellness doctor, practicing cutting-edge, world-class wellness medicine at McMinn Clinic in Homewood, Alabama. Each week, Dr. McMinn interviews experts in the field of integrative wellness medicine. The Wellness Connection brings you the information you need to optimize your health in mind, body, and spirit. And now, here's Dr. McMinn. Good morning and welcome once again to the Wellness Connection with Dr. McMinn. And I have with me, as usual, our moderator, Misty Wallraven. Good morning, Misty. Hey, Dr. McMinn. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You having a good weekend so far? So far. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, all right. Well, we have a special guest here today. Uh, it's Jen Hodson, and Jen is a esthetician par excellence. And uh, so we're going to be talking today about the largest organ in the body. We're going to talk about the skin. But before we get going, let me tell you just a little bit about myself. I have a uh, practice in Homewood, Alabama. It's an integrative, holistic medical practice called McMinn Clinic, uh, where we practice world-class integrative medicine. So um, if you all have any issues uh, having to do with uh, integrative, holistic medicine, give us a call at 868-1313. So let's get going. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about, once again, skin. And so before we uh, start about uh, that, uh, Jen, tell us just a little bit about yourself. Hey, uh, yeah, I um, actually am born and raised in California mm -hmm. and was always just fascinated with skin and beauty and makeup. Um, so I started working at a salon as a young teenager, got promoted as a manager, I managed a salon for a long time. Then my husband and I moved to Birmingham, Alabama mm -hmm. and decided to go to school for aesthetics. I wanted to actually mm -hmm. be involved in doing the services instead of just seeing everyone mm -hmm. get it done. So that's where I started. Uh, that's great. Yeah. You know, Jen, I have the uh, honor and privilege of uh, uh, sitting and listening to women uh, uh, day after day, and uh, uh, I hear them coming in. And first of all, they want to feel better. A lot of times they want to lose weight, but uh, they always want to look better as well. So um, I think we're uh, going to talk about how to build beauty from the inside out. So let's get going here. Um, you know, a lot of some people think that skin is just about looking good, but there are a lot of important functions of the skin as well, aren't there, Jen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Many, many different functions of the skin. What are some of the uh, important functions of the skin, Jen? Well, as you said earlier, skin is the largest organ in the body. So um, with the skin, it interacts and protects us from the environment, um, the heat, the cold, chemicals, ultraviolet radiation, and infections. Um, it also helps with detoxification, regulating uh, hydration, and controlling body temperature. Um, and also, it carries the blood vessels and is the home of many of our nerve endings. So, um, it houses this fifth sense, which is the sen sense of touch. Um, and finally, the, fir um, the first thing that we see, of course, and others see, is our skin and our appearance. So oh, That's right. That's right. You know, Jenna, I think it's important to understand that the skin doesn't just exist in isolation. It's connected to the body as a whole. Right. And in the larger sense, uh, uh, to the mind, body, spirit. Uh, for instance, uh, when Misty gets mad at me, she uh, often breaks out in a rash. Isn't that right, Misty? <laughs> Is that why people think I'm diseased? <laughs> I always have a rash. <laughs> it seems like half the time I interact with you, you got hives, Misty. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you just have that effect on me, Dr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, Anyway, uh, so def there's definitely a mind-skin connection, and uh, so uh, what are some of the other important skin connections uh, with the rest of the body, Jen? Well, there are many uh, underlying medical con conditions, including nutrient deficiencies and toxins. Uh, many manifest themselves as skin conditions, uh, drug reactions, cancer, infections, gut di um, dysfunctions, uh, rheumatological conditions, and allergies um, really present themselves with you know these kind of conditions. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, stress uh, plays a big role as well, doesn't it? Both acute and chronic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, acute and chronic stress may affect the appearance of the skin uh, and the health of it and all sorts of uh, skin conditions, including eczema, uh, psoriasis, and hives. They tend to worsen um, during time of intense stress. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I saw a lady in the office just yesterday. She had psoriasis, and she had just come out of a very stressful condition with her job, and it was definitely having a flare-up of her psoriasis. So often uh, find a skin connection there. Um, uh, so anyway, um, so what are some of the basics of uh, good skin care, Jen? Well, of course, you always want to start with a good foundation of wellness. So you have your nutrients, your optimal hydration, exercise, uh, restorative sleep, and all these, all these things affect your health. Mm -hmm. And your skin, of course. 
So, um, with the um, diet, uh, as far as a good healthy diet, uh, I think it's important to start with a good whole food diet, not the processed food and junk food. In fact, the, there is often a big, big connection with things like uh, uh, gluten sensitivity and certain skin rashes, especially the eczema, those kind of things. So, if anybody's got any uh, issues with that, you might want to try a gluten-free diet uh, for a bit. Uh, also, the foods rich in the good fats, uh, like, uh, for instance, the, um, the olive oil, the fish oils, those kind of things, they are often great for skin health. Uh, so, um, uh, certainly walnuts, canola oils, uh, flaxseed, uh, those kind of things are also very good. And the antioxidant rich foods are good as well, including the green tea, berries, those kind of things. So the main thing is to avoid also the sugar and the processed food. So uh, Jim, what about gut health? Uh, how's that important to good quality skin? Well, gut health is huge. Um, as you said many, many times, good health starts in the gut. Um, so that includes good gut health. Many skin conditions such as eczema, hives, and psoriasis manifestations of gut, of gut problems. So it's not just what you eat, of course, uh, good digestion, absorption, and metabolism are important for these nutrients to get to the source. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it does start with you eat, uh, but uh, Jennifer, there are also some nutritional supplements that can be helpful for the skin. Uh, what are some of the good supplements for skin? Uh, well, of course, you want to start out with a good multivitamin. Uh, multi minerals, add some beta carotins, biotin, and um, B complexes, of course. And then you also want to add some extra antioxidants such as vitamin A, C, D, and also um, some selenium. And mm -hmm. then extra vitamin E can also help tremendously with dry skin. Um, topical, what, what about the topicals, Jen? How do you do? Yeah, definitely topical vitamin C, uh, topical vitamin E can also help uh, tremendously. Mm -hmm. I, also, I hear all the time that you can, um, like you know, going back to gut health, that um, if you have a good healthy gut, it, it can mask best in really nice healthy skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's an old saying, we've said it many times on the show, that good health starts in the gut. Mm -hmm. and I think that's whether it's a skin health or uh, other health. I think it starts with, the, uh, as you say, the diet, what you eat, and of course then the digestion, absorption, metabolism, all that kind of stuff. And, and then uh, what we call dysbiosis, you know, where you get the alteration of the gut flora. So taking the probiotics, digestive enzymes, all those things can help uh, even people, the skin. They think you can uh, put a topical thing on mm -hmm. when sometimes you need to heal it from the inside out. I that's think right. that's important to realize. Yeah, yeah exactly. when, when you start having people and they're, they're doing what they're, they mm -hmm. need to be doing, but yet they're still not getting the results, mm -hmm. it's because internally something's, something's going wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget a lady who came in one time, uh, a really nice lady, uh, probably about 70 years old, and uh, she had a terrible rash on her hands. Uh, oh, wow. It was uh, cracked, dried, and bleeding, and it had been to four different dermatologists, and nothing was helping. And so um, we put her on sort of a high dose of, uh, uh, a therapeutic dose of fish oils. Mm -hmm. And wow, she came back in about three months and her skin was smooth as a baby's bottom. It was just uh, just gorgeous. And uh, uh, it, it, it sometimes these... It's quite an analogy. Where did you come up with that yeah, analogy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes these nutritional cures are almost too good to believe. It was it was phenomenal. She and I were both uh, stunned about it. And uh, so I've seen a lot of... Uh, um, uh, very uh, good outcomes. Another one that uh, I recall is a lady who came in with uh, a lot of uh, dry, uh, bleeding, uh, thin skin, and we put her on the isoquercetin, mm -hmm. which is, of course, a bioflavonoid, and uh, she had excellent results with that as well. And so I do think that, uh, once again, building that skin from the inside out is uh, really important. What are some of the other solutions for dry skin, Jen? Well, you're definitely using a hydrating serum, um, drinking lots of water, using hydrating creams um, really, really help that dry skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a product I've read about called Gloves in a Bottle. Uh, I've seen it on numerous uh, uh, reports that says, says it's very good. What you do is uh, when you uh, take a bath, you, you try to avoid a really prolonged bath or shower right. and uh, don't get the water too hot. So you don't, don't want to wash off all your natural body oils. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you get out, you pat your skin dry. You don't rub it dry with the towel. And then you put on a good lotion. Uh, um, it kind of seals it in. It seals kind of seals all that moisture. In the moisture. Lo lotions don't often add the moisture. They seal in the moisture. Mm -hmm. So something like gloves in a bottle would be fantastic. I personally am prone to uh, lotions and uh, those kind of things that don't have a lot of uh, additives. I, um, I feel that we don't want to uh, put um, uh, a lot of um, toxins, toxins either toxins, in yeah. our body or on our body. I think we underestimate the uh, amount of those toxins that are absorbed into <laughs> the skin. And uh, so you definitely want to avoid a lot of toxins.